The eldest son of former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau was sounding a bit like his father today. Justin Trudeau and his team were lonely voices for the Confederation. Lonely and unpopular. I want to begin by stating something very clearly. It's very important to state this as clear as possible. What we've learned today is that Prime Minister Trudeau has broken the law. other way to put it, he has broken the law with respect to ethics. The Ethics Commission has made that absolutely clear. At a time when Canadians expected better, expected a government that would do things in a way that would increase trust in the democratic institution, what we're seeing is a breaking of that trust. And a government, and a Prime Minister specifically, that is losing the trust of people and has broken that trust in that day by breaking the law. This is very clear that by accepting a gift and not declaring that gift, particularly from an organization that is having dealings with the government, this strikes at the heart of exactly what we want to prevent in terms of the government's relationships with any organization or company. So that's why it's so troubling. There seems to be two worlds, very clearly two worlds. On one hand, we have a, a world where the powerful, the wealthy, the well-connected can break laws and have no consequence. It's so clear that the Liberals and the Prime Minister are, are exist in a world of the powerful, of the well-connected, where if they break laws, nothing happens. all due respect. You are going to take a free holiday from someone you consider a friend. How could it not have occurred to you that that might not have been okay? The fact is, we work, uh, we um, worked with uh, the, the uh, lobby After a year-long investigation, Ethics Commissioner Mary Dawson found the Prime Minister broke four rules by staying on the Aga Khan's private island in the Bahamas, by taking his private helicopter to get there, by holding private meetings about the Aga Khan's endowment fund, and by failing to protect himself from a potential conflict of interest.